The latest developments in 3D tissue printing If you went to movie theaters between 2004 and 2007 or had any commercial DVDs from that period, you probably remember the line, you wouldn't steal a car. This was the first sentence of a public service announcement as part of an anti-copyright infringement campaign. It was meant to dissuade people from downloading movies illegally by comparing that act to stealing a car. Over time, in popular culture, the line evolved to become, you wouldn't download a car, would you? Well now, in 2021, downloading a car doesn't seem so ludicrous. 3D printing has come a long way in the last few decades, and we're now finally at a point where 3D printing is economically viable and technologically capable. But just what is the current state of 3D printing in 2021? Let's get into it by delving into the current advancements of 3D organ and meat printing. The Big Picture Like most industries, the 3D printing market took a hit in 2020 due to the circumstances that we all know about. However, this hit was more of a small blip than a major setback. Worldwide 3D printing business revenue grew 7.5% in 2020, considerably lower than the average growth rate of 25.2% in the previous three years, but still impressive. Globally, 2.1 million units of 3D printers were shipped in 2020, and the shipments are expected to reach an eye-watering 15.3 million units by 2028. The data paints a clear picture. 3D printing is thriving and showing no signs of slowing down. But what kind of things are people 3D printing today? And what could be possible in the future? Organ printing. And no, we don't mean church organs, but organ organs. Sadly, a global shortage of organ donors means that thousands of patients die every year from illness or severe injuries while awaiting transplants. However, with tissue engineering and 3D printing, we could see an end to this. With stem cells, currently, biomedical researchers can print a variety of biological cells and in some cases, larger structures. For example, scientists have successfully managed to print ears and noses in a lab. 3D printing for bone, cornea, and skin tissue is already in clinical testing. Additionally, animal studies into the 3D printing of nerve cells are also looking very promising. Currently, surgeons fix nerve damage by realigning severed nerve ends, but this method has limited success. A gap of more than 2 centimeters often means that these new nerves won't grow, and patients are stuck with a loss of muscle function and feeling. However, scientists have now managed to 3D print porous structures made of neural cells and an algae-based biomaterial that can act as a bridge to the nerve cell. 2020 saw an exciting development in 3D printed organs, this time in outer space. NASA astronaut Andrew Morgan conducted a series of unusual experiences into 3D tissue printing while orbiting 248 miles above Earth. He used a 3D printer and something called bio-ink to create living cells for analysis. But why in space? Printing 3D tissue on Earth has one disadvantage that outer space doesn't. Gravity. On Earth, 3D tissue engineering requires a scaffold to hold everything in place and stop the structure from collapsing. Meat printing There's a lot of buzz surrounding the potential for 3D printing food, specifically meat. The meat industry has come under fire in recent years due to its harmful impact on the environment. Put simply, the meat industry produces a lot of greenhouse gases and isn't terribly efficient at feeding the world. For example, Despite using 77% of agricultural land, only 17% of global caloric consumption comes from animals. However, despite the increasing amount of meat substitute products on the market, there will never be a good substitute for a juicy steak for many. Luckily, 3D printing offers a way to curb many of the environmental impacts of the meat industry, and of course, any of the ethical hesitations people have with eating meat. Buckle up, because there have been some exciting developments in the 3D printing meat space in the last few years. One of them is redefined meat, 
a plant-based steak printer. We know what you're thinking, not another fake steak. But this one is different. The scientists at Redefine Meat worked with butchers, food technologists, and taste experts to digitally map more than 70 sensory parameters into its products. Their goal was to produce a printed plant-based steak with the taste, texture, juiciness, fat distribution, and mouthfeel of an authentic steak. And it was a success! It was tested in leading restaurants and received positive feedback from high-level chefs. Cell-based printed meat is also coming along. The current process involves using bio-inks, which are 3D printed into a shape and then incubated until they mature into structured meat. Bio-inks are various cell types like fat, blood, and muscle, created using animal stem cells. The future of 3D printing. Whether it's for organs or meat, 3D tissue printing has never been more promising than right now. Although there are still challenges to overcome, like the long time it takes to create entire structures or the cost of infrastructure, we are racing towards a 3D printed future. And there is more than just tissue printing. Nowadays, it's possible to print things like low-cost houses for homeless areas and even rockets. So make sure to subscribe to this channel since that may be a story for another episode of What's Next. Thanks a ton for watching the video, and we hope to see you around. Later!